Hi, welcome to NetVisura. This is our Windows installation and we're going to go right to it. First thing we want you to do is open your browser and open our documentation page, which is confluence.netvisura.com. Uh, then open our user guide, go to installation and setup, choose NetVisura installation and Windows installation. First thing we uh, want you to uh, pay attention on is that you need to have a clean server for security reasons. Make sure that your server doesn't have anything installed on it before NetVisura installation. Other software or services running on the same server can impact your installation. Other thing is that you need a correct time, so open your Windows settings and uh, choose your time zone and set your time properly because time change after the installation will invalidate the license. So it's very important for you to fix this before uh, NetVisor installation. And of course, you will need uh, internet access for um, our installation. Um, you simply need to follow the steps as they are listed here. Uh, first of the steps is to open and download uh, Oracle Java 8 from Oracle official website. You will see a link on our documentation page. Uh, we recommend that you uh, download JDK package because it helps with troubleshooting. Um, also, it is very important to choose Windows 64 installer because only Java 64 bit is supported. Just follow the steps for the installation. Once you finalize um, downloading and installing Java, next step is to download and install Tomcat 7 or Tomcat 8 as a service from Tomcat official website. You will see a link also on our documentation page. It is uh, very important to install Tomcat as a service um, because uh, NetVisor installation won't be able to complete successfully uh, otherwise, make sure that you have only one version of Tomcat installed on your system, otherwise application might not work as expected. It's a um, very simple installation, you also need to follow the steps. We have um, made some of, these, um, some of these steps a bit shorter than they usually are, but it's a very simple and quick installation, so you will not have a problem with it. Third step is to download and install PostgreSQL from uh, PostgreSQL official website with the link also available on our download uh, on our documentation page. Um, it is important to install PostgreSQL uh, 9.5 or uh, later version. Uh, while installing PostgreSQL, you will be prompt um, for a password. So uh, just make sure to type in Postgres, we'll get to that part a bit later. Um, also make sure that you have only one version of PostgreSQL installed on your system. Otherwise, again, NetVisura might not work as expected or at all. So just follow the simple steps. Password, as I said earlier, is Postgres. Retype your password, also Postgres. Check your port. Then finish this, this installation as well. After this, you need to download NetVisura Windows installer from NetVisura website and run this installer with administrative privileges. Um, you just need to um, type in your contact name, contact email and company name, of course, if available. Um, it is a very simple process. You will get an email with a download link that you should follow. 
and um, after that you will be uh, able to run the NetVisor installer. So please just leave your uh, exact name and contact email because we actually need it or, or you actually need it to uh, finalize the installation process. We have made a small example here just so, so that you can see how it works. Submit your request. And after you receive an email and download the installer, just run it from your computer and follow the steps. Again, very simple installation that you will not have any problems with, hopefully. Um, once you um, finalize this process and open the NetVisura application, you will have a guide that will lead you from beginning on how to set up everything in NetVisura properly. We will get to that part a bit later. Over here, when you finalize the process, you'll have a link that you need to open in your browser. You should type in your username and password, username admin, password admin01, to be able to access the application. So, again, username admin, password admin01. Once you get in, getting started is pop up. It's going to um, be shown on your web page as well. You will see all the steps that you need to finalize during the configuration. Uh, you'll have read more links that you need to follow to access our documentation and have any, everything cleared up. This is it, so thank you for watching, hopefully this will be very helpful for you, follow our other videos and keep in touch, bye bye!